My name's Ant, I'm 28. I've been single about 18 months and I've been sort of going through sort of three month relationships over the past year. Nothing's really worked out, so I've been sold this dream. Let's see what my main match is saying. I think I'm a good person to get married to because I am easy to get along with. I try to be anyway. I think if there's a reason you shouldn't marry me is my stubbornness. I am very, very stubborn by my own admission. The worst thing I could see on my wedding day at the end of the aisle is someone fake, loud, not clever. It's just the worst thing I can imagine. My name's Rob, but my mates call me Big Bob. Uh, I'm 26 and I'm from Bournemouth. I think I'm a great person to get married to because I will always bring the fun. I will always be there. I'm loyal. I'm committed to someone when I'm in a relationship and when I'm married, but I don't know because I've never been married before. I just need someone that's on my sort of level. Just want to have fun, have a little drink, have a little bit of a boogie. The worst thing I think I could see on my wedding day is someone coming down and they've just got the face of a slapped fish. To so someone who just looks like they couldn't care. They've just looked at me and they've seen everything that they didn't want in a man. I'm Jordan, I'm 27, I'm from Cardiff. I'm a good person to get married to because I can cook, I can clean, I take care of myself, and I've got a good sense of humour. Loyal is just where I am, and I think that's what every woman needs. The worst thing I could see coming at the end of an aisle would be a woman with a hairy moustache. In a partner, I look for beautiful eyes, beautiful teeth, really well-spoken, quite chilled out, and naturally beautiful. I haven't got a foot fetish, but nice toes does go a long way with myself. I mean, nobody wants to share a bed with crocodile toes. My name's Daniel, I'm 27. I'm from Northern Ireland. I've been single for about a year and a half and I'm looking for love. I like to grab life by the balls and I love to meet new people and completely immerse myself into situations. If there's one reason not to marry me, it's sometimes I love to be spontaneous. I do a lot of cold water swimming. I like to go skinny dipping. I like to be a bit wild. In a partner, I look for someone who's fun. They don't take themselves too seriously. They're up for a laugh but they also know where they're going. I'm looking for good sex, I'm looking for good chats, belly laughs, and just an amazing, crazy experience. My name's Josh, I'm 26, and I've been single for a year and a half. I'm a good person to get married to because I'm a caring guy, I'm a gentleman, and I'm just genuinely an all-round nice guy. If there's one reason not to marry me, it's probably down to my stubbornness, and that's it. Ideally for me, my perfect partner would be in shape, they'd be into the gym, They'll be an intelligent person, and yeah, they'll just be all around just a genuine, genuine, normal person. The worst thing I could imagine seeing at the end of an hour on my wedding day is somebody that I don't fancy. Hi, I'm Adam, I'm 26, and I've been single for seven years. I can count all the dates I've had in the last six, seven years on one hand. I'm coming into this hoping to find the dream person and find someone that I can spend the rest of my life with. In a partner, I mainly look for a bubbly personality, someone that I can click with and someone that's just up for a good laugh. The worst thing that I could imagine seeing at the end of the aisle on my wedding day was someone that just isn't smiling, isn't happy and just not having a good time. If there was one reason not to marry me, it would probably be you might have to come second to the gym. I'm Luke, I'm 36. I've been single for two years and a bit, I think, and I'm here to actually find a wife and my soulmate. I'm honest, hardworking, loyal, and I'm a good guy. If there was one reason not to marry me would be because I could be very, very picky, very choosy in who I invest my time with. The worst thing I could see when she was walking down the aisle is if she was smoking a cigarette with massive curly hair. Hi, I'm Frankie, I'm 47. I've been single for five years and recently all the dating I've been doing has been horrendous. What I look for in a partner is somebody who is grounded, who is educated, who is classy and takes care of themselves. The worst thing I could see at the end of an aisle as I look down there would be a very overweight woman, hair's a mess and a loud gobby mouth speaking trash. I would hate that. Hi, I'm Matt, I'm 38 and I've been single for seven months and I'm from Leeds. I've had some failed relationships and I really want to be a dad and I want to start a family. I look for someone that's kind, really intelligent, somebody that really, really has passion and drive. The worst thing that I can think of to, for me to see at the end of the aisle would be somebody who was really arrogant. I really want somebody that's got a good energy. Keep up to date with the latest from Married at First Sight. Hit like and subscribe so you don't miss out.